white stag here. So, this is my new painting. Marco Polo 2. Because it's kind of a reworking of a painting I did a while ago. So, I don't have the beginning of this. And of this painting, for some reason, my camera stopped working. And I did not realize it, and I had recorded quite a bit of footage doing this underpainting. I ended up having to restart my computer, but the beginning of this isn't like the best quality because I used a different program that my camera was working on at the time. So this painting was a whopping 24 by 30 inches. Like it was huge. It was hanging off the top and the bottom of my art desk. So I had to move it around quite a bit. And something different, I use canvas. I have not painted on canvas in years. So it was kind of very interesting. At this point, um, I'm going to do more ex experimenting on the wood. But like I, I kind of feel bad because I ordered a bunch of wood panels. And I was really, really digging working on canvas. It just made the painting process look so much easier. Like the paint would stick to the canvas, that the extra tooth that it has. Like it just made it go by so fast. Like it just seems so easy to paint on canvas. It seems ridiculous. But the 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 true deciding factor was whether or not I could scan it in. Because I used to have issues with my old scanner back in the day when I used to work on canvas. With it kind of like lifting and Maybe the light would hit it different, but I, I have a way better scanner now, and I don't... It's more of a flatbed, like it doesn't have that lip that holds things up, and the scan turned out just fine. So, and most everything I was worried about, I didn't have issues with. I chessoed some wood panels the other day, and I left a little more... Uh, tooth on them when I sanded it down because I decided like I think I really like the tooth but unsanded I, I don't like painting on the gesso I, I can't describe it the way it is it's probably too textured too rough like it feels like I'm painting on sandpaper if that makes sense but this canvas like the, the paint just glides right on I can scrub it in and do a lot more than I could on wood, because wood, it would just lift back up. In this painting, I really am happy with the way it turned out, because this is the first time that I really, um, really used an underpainting. It's not something I normally do. Normally, I start with a flat tone and then go into shading, but I kind of just went right at it because I kind of wanted to plot things out and see how laying the paint on first would go and I am entirely happy with the way everything worked out like I couldn't have been happier because it took me a three record sessions only two streams to finish this um I painted a little bit during the day well I say a little bit it might have been like completely lost track of the time now, but it was uh, at least five hours. I think I worked on the painting 10 to 12 hours the first day, and then I did another stream of it. But I painted during the day, and then I streamed later on in the night on Twitch. But it was a really fun, interesting learning experience. It would have been a lot easier if I had my easel, but I couldn't get my easel set up for good lighting, if that makes sense. I need to kind of rearrange my corner to make room because it would have went by so much better if I didn't have to like turn and work it around. Sometimes I was standing over it. But I have really, really, really been enjoying painting my girls bigger. Um, like I've been doing them more and more, and like the 11 by 14 size, and then, you know, after this size, I couldn't wait to get back to work on this size. <laughs> but this is actually a repaint of a painting I did quite a while ago called Marco Polo, 
and the second is way better than the first. The first, I think both girls had blonde hair, but it's still the same thing, but the other girl in the water, she was floating on her stomach. This painting, it's kind of, it's kind of sad. Kind of different. I don't, I don't know. Words and things. But for some reason, I was obsessed with repainting it again. Because I really liked it, but I was never really quite as happy as I could have been with the original painting. But anyways, guys, I suck at words, so I'm probably going to stop talking. So I stream live on Twitch. You can catch me there. And catch one of these sessions, like most of my time-lapse videos were taken from live streams now the link will be in the in the little description box thing below the video or at the end and you can follow me on Facebook Twitter Instagram for various other updates and thank you guys for watching if you enjoy it subscribe because I put up videos every week of time-lapse drawing Sometimes tutorials, like I'm still working on a bunch. I know I keep saying that, but I'm, I really am. It's hard to find time to edit all the videos. So, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next time.